Good morning, everybody. 12 minutes past 7 o'clock right now. It is Wednesday, so you know what that means. About this time every week, we visit with our friends from the Blank Park Zoo. And we have Julie Trosh in studio with us with a longtime friend of ours, Jackie, who is really having a good time here this morning. Absolutely. We appreciate you coming in, Julia. Who'd you bring in with you today? This is Scoots, our nine-banded armadillo. Scoots. And uh, Scoots is having breakfast right now, as you can see. And, uh, boy, you found something that Scoots really loves. He loves earthworms. They're one of his favorite treats that he gets, so I brought him a couple this morning. All right, give us the, the skinny on Scoots. So nine-banded armadillos are native to the southern part of the United States. They're pretty common down there. And Scoots is actually a rescue. Oh, he is? Yeah, he was born wild, but he um, was oh, he found, found at <laughs> Jacksonville Zoo. He kept coming into the zoo and he was approaching people. They kept trying to place him farther and farther away from the zoo and he kept coming back. So they finally decided that he probably wasn't gonna make it out in the wild since he was so friendly. And that was when he came to us. Okay, so he, uh, a transfer, from, a one transfer zoo, mm -hmm. from one zoo to another. Yep. But it looks like he's uh, very comfortable around people, obviously, as you mentioned here. And how did you discover he loves earthworms so much? Well, in the wild, that's one of the main types of bugs they're going to be eating. They're really, really good diggers. And when we let him outside to play, he just goes to town. He digs up all, all the dirt, finds lots of bugs. Um, so earthworms are kind of a special treat that he gets sometimes. What are some other things we might not understand about this particular animal? Um, they are nocturnal, so they are kind of hard to spot sometimes. They spend most of their time awake during the nighttime. Um, and we actually have a special room for our nocturnal animals. Oh, you do? Yeah, so the lights are off during the day while we're there so that they're awake when we're awake. And then um, after we leave, the lights turn on and they all go to sleep. So it works really well for us. So hence giving him uh, a little extra treat this morning for saying, yes. hey, you get to wake up early. <laughs> <laughs> yes. which, which is nice. Now, uh, one thing I, I do want to let people know, uh, when you, you come over here, um, I, it has it's kind of an odor to it. Let's see what it looks he, um, he just pretty much smells pretty bad. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that a lot of animals have is they will kind of replicate the smell of a dead animal, and it makes them less appealing for a predator ah. to eat. So he's got some pretty good stink on him. Ah, okay, well, besides talking about uh, Scoots this morning while he's enjoying a great breakfast, thanks for not sharing, Scoots. Uh, we yeah. have some other wonderful events that are happening at the Blank Park Zoo right now. Yes, we have Night Eyes going on, which yes. is one of my favorite events. Now, also, we have something going on, uh, uh, the uh, the final day to purchase discount tickets. Yes, uh, that is what is it sounds like, today right? Today is the last day for those okay. $4 tickets. Okay. All right, make sure you get, take advantage of that. But let's talk about uh, Night Eyes and why this is such a special time of year. So we have the zoo all set up and lit up for uh, Halloween, and we have some different costume characters yes. and um, trick-or-treating and lots now of Now, you guys go through a lot of candy lots that is out there. I heard some numbers last week that were mind-boggling. Oh, yeah. Um, I've seen that we have a trailer that comes in that we fill with candy. We're, we're talking hundreds <laughs> of thousands of pieces of candy. Yes. Is that what I heard? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And remind everybody the hours because things are a little bit different on the Yeah, way. the hours are a little different. So um, I believe on Thursdays and Fridays we're 5.30 to 8. And then on the weekends we are 1 to 8. Okay, 1 to 8. But, and that's the hours of the zoo on the weekends too, right? Yes. The Saturdays and Sundays. So it's yes. not open in the morning on exactly. the weekend. Uh, exactly. And that's just for night eyes. For night eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just keep that in mind if you plan on going to the zoo uh, for that. But uh, might as well take advantage of that last time to get your tickets for 4 bucks. Absolutely. Well, a great <laughs> price no matter how you look at it, uh, but also a good reminder of being a member. You get a, a good price there as well. But taking a look at some wonderful B-roll we have to kind of show you exactly what uh, it looks like if you're heading out to the zoo. Just a fun uh, activity of various things happening all around the zoo and that's the fun part you get to really experience the entire zoo with various stations set up with treats and other uh, fun things to take your picture with and experience and you really encourage everybody to get dressed up and come out for a yes, great time. costumes are the best part of my days yeah, and, the, and the animals love all the attention too and speaking of animals you got the characters that are out there as well you can have some magic shows and look at this juggling going on out through the bounce houses so it really is a fun-filled afternoon isn't it? It is. Awesome. Lots of fun. All right. Perfect. So.
I want to thank all the sponsors that helped make everything go on the merry-go-round that is happening, uh, that is functional too. So uh, really, uh, go on out there, bring the entire family, and what do they say? It's merry, not scary. Exactly. That's the whole idea. For the entire family. So we encourage you to come on out uh, for the last weekend of Night Eyes, going strong another season here in our central Iowa area. And going strong this morning is <laughs> good. He's looking for more <laughs> food. Like, where, where he is. He's trying to <laughs> dig through his <laughs> towel. Well, you said they are. They're uh, big diggers, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But he'll do it. Now, now, uh, is Scoots, uh, with this kind of weather, it's starting to cool off a little bit. Uh, will he stay inside mostly? Yeah, um, armadillos are actually very easily prone to frostbite, so we um, have to make sure he stays nice and warm in his carrier this time of year. Um, and that's partially why they're just native to the southern part of the United States, where um, it usually doesn't get as cold for us. Yeah, actually, I'm going to show. Here. I'm going to show something <laughs> else here because uh, I noticed that when you brought brought him in here, when you came in, you talked about uh, worried about it. He has a, a hot water mm -hmm. bottle that he traveled with. Uh, here it is, right here. So this was inside the carrier when you had, just to make sure that he yeah. stayed really. A nice. lot of our animals this time of year, especially reptiles, mm -hmm. and then um, ones just native to southern. Or warmer yeah, climates. but even though he does have a shell like this, he's mm -hmm. not a reptile. He's not a reptile. No. He is a mammal. This is just his skin right here. Okay, so that is really <laughs> so. Scoots again. He's he's, he's still digging, looking he, for more food. I think he's ready for bed. He going back in. Stopped at, at Worms R Us on the way home. <laughs> Get some more food for him. But uh, what a, an interesting and a prehistoric looking creature uh, that is still uh, mm -hmm. plentiful down in the southern portion of the United States. That is great. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thanks, Scoots, for coming over. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your breakfast. <laughs> there you have it. A Blank Park Zoo. Again, take advantage. Last night is tonight to go purchase your tickets for Night Eyes at a discount. And then last four nights, starting tomorrow night, for Night Eyes at the Blank Park Zoo, Jackie. More great things head your way as you're watching CWI Live this morning. We'll be right back with more. Keep it here on Channel